Hello, my name is Pauls. I'm a hardware testing engineer here at Microtech. Are you ready for a new CCR product? You probably remember this amazing connectivity router with its high-speed optical capabilities. Now, let's take it up a notch. Like the previous model, this CCR also features the same Alpine version 2 CPU. But here's the difference. This powerful router crushes all previous CCR models in single core performance. And that is the most important aspect when it comes to heavy operations based on per connection processing, like queues, for example. But that's not all. It also has the best single core performance per watt and best overall performance per watt among all the CCR devices. Better for the planet, better for the bills. It's a win-win. Okay, now let's take a closer look. The new router has 18 wired ports, including 16 gigabit Ethernet ports and two 10G SFP Plus cages. It also has a full-size USB and RJ45 console port on the front panel. Like all CCR devices, it comes in a classic white 1U rack mount case. Built-in dual redundant power supplies are included, so you have one less thing to worry about. And of course, there is active cooling to keep things nice and cool. Each group of 8 gigabit Ethernet ports is connected to a separate Marvel Amethyst family switch chip. Each switch chip has a 10 gigabit full duplex line connected to the CPU. The same goes for each SFP Plus cage, a separate 10 gigabit full duplex line. Boards come with 4 GB of DDR4 RAM and 128 MB of NAND storage. So, as you can see, no bottlenecks, as long as the CPU can handle the processing. All ports can reach wire speed, and this CPU is a beast. It can handle a lot. If you look at the performance, you can see that it is a trading blows with our CCR 1009, even surpassing it in a CPU heavy configurations. And if that wasn't enough, it can even reach the performance of CCR 2016. The best part? This brand new CCR will be the most affordable option out there, even within the CCR series. Luxury you deserve, the price you can afford. One of the most common ways to use this device would be this. Uh, gigabit Ethernet ports for the internal network, SFP Plus ports for downlink and uplink, the perfect all-in-one solution for small and medium-sized businesses. Easy and efficient. But Pauls, you said it yourself. Small businesses, do you think we have a place for all those Rachmons? All right, all right, we hear you. And here are the good news. There is a version with passive cooling coming soon. No need for Rachmons and several rooms. You will be able to work right next to the router and enjoy the silence. There will be no fans, just a huge heatsink on the back and a lot of ventilation holes. To keep heat output under control, we had to reduce the default CPU frequency to 1.2 GHz. That's a minus 15% of your max performance compared to the rack mount unit in configurations where the CPU usage is around 100%. So that's a trade-off for passive cooling, compact size and less noise. We also had to remove the built-in power supplies from the case. This way we are able to make the case smaller and bring the heat down even more. Instead, we added several other powering options. On the back, a DC jack and a two-pin terminal connection. And on the front, 802.3BT PoE in on the Ethernet port 15. The passive cooled unit can require up to 42 Watt of power when fully loaded, but typically it should use around 36 Watt. Rackmont unit can require up to 48 Watt of power when fully loaded. Both CCR 2004s come with a level 6 routers license and are designed for routers version 7 only. The version with passive cooling is coming out later this summer, so stay tuned, we'll keep you posted. With this product line, we really wanted to help all the growing businesses out there. We wanted to put together something compact, affordable and powerful. And that's exactly what we did. With this new CCR 2004, you can take your office network to the next level, without breaking the bank. So, what are you waiting for? Contact your marketing distributor today.